Hi friends, this is Yolanda with Harper Therapy. I wanted to touch base with the parents out there, parents of teens. How's the summer going? Summer is actually almost, um, it's coming to an end. And um, so I'm just curious about what everyone's experience with their teens over the summer has been. Uh, it's kind of a wonky time because there's not the same kind of structure and schedule and that kind of thing um, that is in place during the school year. Some teens are uh, busy with summer activities. Of course, there's vacation. Some teens are going off to camp. Uh, some teens are working. Uh, some parents are frustrated with their teens who are sleeping all day. <laughs> so um, things are starting to gear down with the summer. And um, we will be, the kids will be back in school before we know it. And so um, as we are ramping up, um, getting back into the swing of things with the school year, I um, want to take uh, advantage of those last moments of summer and kind of throw out maybe a little exercise to do with your teen. Uh, this actually came um, from a Facebook post. Um, someone had posted, it was actually came from a I think a um, Chick-fil-A kids meal. And the question was, what's the hardest part about being a kid? So I thought, hmm, that's a really awesome question. And um, it sparked a lot of conversation in the Facebook post. So I thought, wow, I wonder what it would be like to ask my teens, what's the hardest part about being a teen. So I did that and that allowed for some really great conversation and then we expanded that and asked um, several different teens and I just wanted to share a little bit about what these teens had to say. So in some of them, um, and I'm going to read my notes so I can uh, give the most accurate information that I can, um, and this is going to be on our blog so you can read in more detail. Um, so from the ages of 13 and 14, those early teen years, it was all about fitting in and finding a place of belonging and people developing at different rates and having different experiences. And that was the hardest part about that time of adolescence and teenhood. What we heard a lot from these teens, um, especially older teens, that really hard space to navigate between being a teen and shifting into young adulthood and how hard it is to navigate that um, and how hard it is to navigate those waters with parents um, who um, the teens express kind of feeling like they're treated like a kid um, but then asked to have these adult responsibilities um, and not giving the teens space um, to make some of their own decisions, which is really hard for us as parents, isn't it? Because we've lived life. We've lived a little bit more life than our teens have, and we want to protect them from making um, decisions that maybe aren't um, the best decisions for them. So, uh, so having that space. And then our teens at that age, that late adolescent stage, that 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, um, there are moments that they are like, on it and so mature and making responsible decisions and that makes a parent's heart so proud <laughs> and then there are moments that we're like what are you thinking because again their brains aren't fully developed they're not always thinking rationally and like logically um, so that's perfectly normal too um, adolescence is like toddlerhood 2.0 uh, remember <laughs> when your when your kid was a toddler and you know that whole I, I do it myself and they would trudge forward and like do the thing but then also wanted to know that they could come running back that they had a safe safe space to come running back to um so that is part of um the adolescent stage too um so having space for our kids um to, to do that and creating that safe space for them to go and explore and learn about who they are and the, the, the adult that they're becoming, um, and then also having that safe space for them to come back to. A lot of it, uh, a lot of the hard thing about being a teen, I heard, was um, the future making decisions. And that makes a lot of sense too, because 
Uh, our kids' lives are pretty structured. I mean, they have a pretty structured uh, way of working through elementary and middle school and high school and guidance with that. And then we shift into like, hey, get ready for college and what is your future going to look like? And that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure, um, especially when they're still trying to figure out who they are and, and, and what their role is in the world. Um, so keeping that in mind, um, being supportive of them as they are uh, navigating those waters and just recognizing that uh, it's a it's a lot to ask. I have um, one who will be starting college and uh, had to identify a major right off. And wow, think back to those days. Isn't that kind of a part of what college is all about? I mean, <laughs> it's trying to to figure out what it is that you want to do um, and where you want to uh, spend your time and energy with studies. Uh, so that has been um, a challenge for a lot of our teens. Um, one response in particular, I just wanted to share a little bit more about, I'm scrolling down to that, um, because this really struck me as well. Um, and this person says, um, I would say the hardest part for me was learning to process what I'm feeling. Uh, there's a lack of sympathy for it too and a lot of adults when you're when you're feeling awful and have no way to process it and grow from it because it's new so experiencing new emotions um, at a different intensity than maybe before um, so rather than offering advice you just kind of get ignored because it's normal like yeah man it's normal but you can help me talk this out or something wow wow so mom dad the invitation is uh, for us to help um, talk it out with our team. Um, so maybe you pause for a moment. Maybe you and your team go out for ice cream. Uh, that's a favorite of ours. Um, maybe you make dinner together, go for a car ride, shoot some hoops, go for a walk, whatever it is. Maybe you decide to, to connect with your team and ask, hey, what's hard about being a team? Um, you might be surprised at your team's response. So this is an invitation. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, know that we at Harper Therapy are, are here to help you and your team navigate through these sometimes rocky waters of teenhood. Hope that you are doing well this Thursday afternoon. We will catch you later.